Hi, I'm Pamela from Fibersprite.com, and today I'm going to be showing you how to pull roving off of a drum carter using the spinner's multi-tool as it is. So this is the standard spinner's multi-tool. It has five different sized holes. Each of these holes can be used as a diz, or you could thread a piece of ribbon or some hand spun yarn through one of the holes and hang it off your wheel when you're using it for the protractor or wraps per inch guide. So up top is where we have the protractor and this is how you can check your twist angle and it's also got a little reminder of what's your s twist and your z twist then the middle of the card has the wraps per inch guides so you can check your wraps per inch while you're spinning and this is our sheep shaped spinners multi-tool the only difference between this one and the standard is that this one has three holes instead of five so today i'm going to be pulling some roving off the drum carter you could also use the diz from hand cards or from hand combs So the first thing that you're going to do when pulling roving off of a drum carter with a diz is to take your doffer pin and just take a little bit of fiber off. And you're not going to take it all the way off, you just want it to be peeled back so that it's no longer fully attached. And then I like to use a crochet hook to pull the first bit of fiber through the diz. You could also fold the fiber over and tug it through with your fingers, but the crochet hook is going to save a lot of time. So this is the hole that I'm going to choose. This is probably my favorite sized hole. I tend to spin fairly thin. So this gives me a pretty sizable roving that I like pretty well. So I've pulled the fiber through and then I'm going to essentially draft the fiber and then push the diz back towards the drum carter. And so you just repeat these two actions, pull and push and pull and push. And as I go across the drum carter, you're going to be able to see it just a little bit better. But this is the motion that you are going to repeat as you're pulling the roving off the drum carter. It's, it's a lot like drafting or pre-drafting your fiber to spin. The only difference is that you have that, that tool in between you and the fiber. And that tool helps you get something that's really nice and consistent. So once you're done, you're just going to pull it off. And then I like to sort of wind it into a little nest. So there's my roving. I like to wind it into a little nest and save it until I'm ready to spin. So again, you're going to lift some of the fiber off. You don't need very much. Of course, if you're going to choose a thicker hole, you could take a little bit more roving off with each pass. Thread it through the hole and then pull back to draft, push the tool back in, and repeat. So this is a really gentle motion. You shouldn't feel like you're fighting it. If you get too much fiber caught in the diz, like I've done right here, you just want to gently back off, draft some of that fiber back out, and that'll help thin it out and then continue on your way. You never really want to force the tool if you're feeling like you're in a tough spot. It's not going to hurt the tool, but it, it will get you stuck and that can be frustrating. So if you get to a place where you're feeling like you're almost stuck, it's better to back off a little bit, draft it to its, till it's smooth, and then continue on. So I'm going to go ahead and do another pass. I'm going to lift off with the doffer. I want to make sure that I'm getting all of the fiber from this section so that I get a nice clean pass. Pull it through with the crochet hook 
and then draft it through the multi-tool off of the drum carter. And as you get more practice, this will be a lot easier. It's a pretty simple task, but it can be a little bit frustrating to get the rhythm, get the feel of it. So just be patient with yourself when you are learning how to do this step. And it looks like there's just one more left, so I'm going to go ahead and take the rest off. The spinners multi-tool and the sheep shaped spinners multi-tool can all be found on our website, fibersprite.com, and they are also available on Etsy and on Amazon. So I hope this video has been helpful to you. In the next video, I will be showing you how to use the protractor and the wraps per inch guide. Happy spinning!